Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing well. If you haven't seen any of our videos before, my name is Arshan and I'm a support trading coach at Trading College. And in this video today, I want to talk to you about something slightly different from the most recent videos we've had on the channel. We're going to take a step away from the charts and talk about not quite trading psychology, but trading routine and lifestyle. Often we're caught up in this busy world that we're all living in, and many of us have found that some aspects of our lifestyle can lead us to feel annoyed, grouchy or impatient. And if we're not careful, these can all take their toll on our trading. So in this video, I want to talk to you about some of these problems and then to give you six tips and tricks to help you make sure that you're always on your A game and leading as productive and happy a life as possible whilst trading. But before we begin, if you're enjoying these videos on YouTube, please don't forget to like the videos and to subscribe to the Trading College YouTube channel. We have a whole host of free videos that you can go back and watch at any time, which are a brilliant resource and some really exciting content planned for the future. So make sure to keep your eye on that. If you'd like any further details on what we do at Trading College, please don't hesitate to head to our website, www.tradingcollege.co.uk, where you can have a look at the overview of the different types of educational courses that we have on offer, and you can even organize a callback from one of our course advisors. So let's get back to the video. There are many things that can influence the mindset that we have whilst we're trading. And these are things that are not only influenced by trading itself, like how well it's going, but also by our life and lifestyle outside of trading. Especially in the world that we're in now where all parts of our life are going at 100 miles an hour, phones are pinging notifications at us left, right and centre, and there are just sometimes there are too many jobs to get done in 24 hours. All of this means that we can sometimes forget to focus on the basics the relatively simple things that we can check and make sure that we're doing each day to give our minds and body the best chance it can have to be on its A game. And this is really important because if we don't make sure we're looking after ourselves in this way, it can lead to a variety of issues. These can include things such as lower energy, which means that we might not have the actual energy to focus on the setups we're meant to be trading. Low willpower, which means you're more likely to break your trading rules. And low mood, which means we might give up, be impatient or not take the trades that we're meant to in our trading plan. So what can we do about this? Well, I think you'll be surprised at just how simple these six tips and tricks I'm going to give you are. And if you do them, it'll give you a fantastic opportunity to try and prevent these negative things that we spoke about from happening. So let's get on with it. Tip number one, the power of a good night's sleep. This is probably one of the most important of the tips I'm going to give you today. And it also happens to be the one that I personally struggle with the most. I'm always working on ways to improve my sleep and finding ways to de-stress my life. The thing about trading is that it can be exciting, especially when you first start out on your trading journey. And that means that it can be tempting to trade even when you've not had enough sleep and know that you'll be tired. But you might be okay after one night of poor sleep. But what's eventually going to happen is that these bad nights of sleep and bad sleeping routine will catch up with you and it'll start to compromise your performance and your decision making skills. Think how difficult it can be deciding on like the most basic of things when you've not had a good night's sleep. Things like even just deciding what snack you want to eat. And when you're trading, the outcomes of the decisions can be much worse because after all, you've got money at risk. So I've honestly found that the most beneficial solution to improve your trading when you've had a bad night's sleep is to take the day off. No trade, and so preserving your trading account is still good trading. If you do want to do some sort of trading-related activity, why not spend the time backtesting or reading up on trading psychology? Something that doesn't involve actually putting money at risk. Tip number two, curating a healthy lifestyle. 
And by that, more specifically, I mean a good diet, regular exercise, and drinking plenty of water. And the reason for this is obvious. Just as a healthy diet and exercise can help you in all other aspects of your life, so too it can also help with your trading. A healthy lifestyle keeps your mind and body functioning at their best. And this helps to keep them both working at their peak level. And the reason this is important is because if your brain and body are working the best way they possibly can, then this improves your decision making and your focus whilst you're trading. So a no brainer really for this. Let's move on to tip number three. Don't just be a trader. So this statement might be a bit confusing, but what I mean is that you should always make sure that you have other stuff going on in your day whilst you're trading. Don't just be a trader sat at the screen. It can be so easy to get completely engrossed in the charts. I know it because I've also been through it. But sitting in front of the charts all day, you might find that what you end up with is just a bit of brain fog and a lack of focus. That's why it's good to have some sort of other things going on your day, like some hobbies or activities. Not only does that keep you more disciplined with your time, for example, if you love to play golf in the afternoons, it means that you have to be really productive with your morning trading so that you can take that time off and forget about trading for the rest of the day. So not only is that important, but having some other stuff going on in your day is also the point of trading. The point of trading is to give you freedom to make a good living for yourself whilst also leaving as much free time as possible to do the stuff that you enjoy with your day. What's the point of sitting in front of the charts all day every day? Then it just turns into another job. You may as well make sure that you have free time to do the things that you actually want, whether that's playing golf, whether it's cooking or spending time with the grandkids, whatever you want to do with your day. Tip number four, setting goals. Now, this is just so important for good trading mindset. Because when you're a trader, you are your own boss. And that means that you're the one who is completely and wholly in charge of what you do each day when you're sat down in front of a computer. And a good boss knows that in order to get the best out of their employees, they should set them specific tasks and goals to keep them motivated and on track. And you need to do exactly the same. Trading is your business and so you are your own boss. There are all sorts of different types of goals that you can set for yourself. They range from the short term. So for example, your daily profit target amount to long-term goals such as in a year from now, I want to have learned a strategy and to be successfully trading it on a £100,000 funded account. And by the way, if you are interested in learning more about funded accounts, please do check out Trading College's funded account program, Stealth Trader. You can look at the information for that at www.stealthtrader.co.uk. And I'll also give you this link again at the end of the video. So before you next start trading, have a think about what sort of goals you can set for yourself. Having a goal will keep you focused and stop you from breaking any of the rules that will prevent you from achieving it. Tip number five, developing a positive mindset. Here at Trading College, something that we always talk about with our clients is developing a positive growth mindset. Like any new skill, learning to trade can sometimes be frustrating, just the same way as learning a musical instrument or starting a plumbing apprenticeship. And even once you've learned to trade, your mindset is something that you always have to be aware of because having a good mindset is essential for sticking with your strategies and routines so that you can make profits. So if you're trading and something isn't quite going the way that you'd like, take a mental step back and just be patient with yourself. Have a look if you're the cause of the issue that's going wrong. If so, then you need to reevaluate what you're doing and change what needs to be changed. If you're doing everything right and things are still not going your way, then maybe it's just the market's not trending in the direction that you need to. Maybe it's 
the market's not trending in the direction that you need them to that day, which is completely normal. Again, take a step back. And if ever you're trading and you recognize that you're starting to go into a state of mind that isn't beneficial, try to redirect those thoughts into a positive energy and push through that block. And so we're now on the final tip for this video. And in my experience, this is one of the most beneficial and it's becoming part of a trading community. Here at Trading College, we pride ourselves on the community of like-minded coaches and clients that we've created. Being part of a trading community is so important to achieving any success at trading. Because if you're learning to trade by yourself, it's such a lonely journey. And being part of a community means that there are always people available to talk to and, more importantly, ask questions to and bounce your ideas off. At Trading College, not only do we have experienced trading coaches on hand available to answer your questions, we also have a live trading chat room which is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is the place where students and staff can chat and connect and where all of our 10 live trading classes a week are held. For me, when I went through my journey learning to trade at Trading College, before I became a trading support coach, the community aspect of Trading College was one of the major reasons I decided to come here. And hands down, it is one of the biggest reasons why I became a successfully consistent, profitable trader, without a doubt. So here we go. We've reached the end of the video, and I really hope that you found this chat useful. This, this has been a great video for me to record, and I've really enjoyed it because these types of tips and tricks are not something that gets chatted about too often. So hopefully this video will be a great resource for all you traders out there. If you've enjoyed the video today, please don't forget to give it a like and to subscribe to our Trading College YouTube channel because we have a whole host of videos that are there available as a brilliant resource to improve your trading. And if you'd like any more information on the courses and the software and indicators that we have on offer at Trading College, please don't hesitate to head to our website, www.tradingcollege.co.uk, where you can have a look at an overview of all our different courses, take a look at our blog, have a look at our testimonials, and you can even organize a callback from our course advisor. And if you'd like any more information on the funded account program that we have on offer through Trading College, take a look at our funded account company, Stealth Trader. And you can look at all the information you need about that at www.stealthtrader.co.uk. So thanks for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again in another video very soon.